Hey fam, Chi Chi here, welcome back. Today I will be showing you all the Louis Vuitton coin card holders that I have access to. This was a highly requested video, meaning one person requested to see this collection. I'm sorry it took so long for me to get this video done, but listen, we're here now. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, we're gonna start off with the ones that are, for the most part, readily available on the Louis Vuitton site. Keep in mind, these are men's pieces. So you're not gonna find them on the lady side. You gotta go to the men's side of the website. So kicking it off with the a monogram eclipse. This is probably my favorite canvas from the men's line. I wish they would make some lady bags with this, but you know me, I feel like everything is unisex at this point. But it's got the dark black with the gray on it and it's just a workhorse with this one. This is probably one of the prints that started off the entire like coin card collection, but I feel like it's a great base to have if you do have a gentleman in your life or you know you just like the print like I do. So I think this is a fantastic color. It's a little bit more elevated than just having a full on black coin card holder. They do have that and they do have tons of them, you know, different ones, but this one is a beautiful staple in anyone's collection and it does have silver hardware. All of these, except for one that I'm gonna show you has silver hardware, but excellent piece, highly recommend the monogram eclipse. Next we have the Damier Graphite. Of course, same with the monogram eclipse. It's the gray and the black combination for me, only in the checkered print. Again, another print that I wish that, you know, we would have some lady bags for. <laughs> so nothing too like far out with this one, but these two are the ones that you can find on the site most of the time and in store. But I do like both of them. They are a bit more masculine, so to speak. So I really do like them. I think they're really dope. They're, they're just really dope. The rest of the coin card holders I'm gonna show are all limited edition, starting out with the reverse <laughs> monogram eclipse. Again, it, collection is so fire. So this one popped up on the site and it was like, yeah, this has to be added to the collection. It's literally the regular monogram. And then on the back, it has that little bit of eclipse. It's not a huge difference between the two, but I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a little something extra, a little, a little jazz. When I was taking these out the box, I thought like, they were the same. I'm like, did I buy the same wallet? <laughs> They're not. So uh, yeah, I just realized it was the monogram, um, reverse monogram. Another small detail on the monogram eclipse is that the zipper pull is a bit more on the gunmetal gray versus the, you know, the flat out silver. So I really do like that little like you know, tint that they got on here is not super gunmetal, but it's gunmetal enough to notice a small difference. Not a, not a ton, but it's the same colors that would be on the, um, the key pouch that I just got too. So it's basically the same thing. If you know the colors, you know the colors, but that's basically, it's basically the same. Of course, we gotta talk about the crown jewel of this entire line, what set it off, jaune which is French for yellow. This one, this one is the GOAT. This is the greatest of all time. I have to give credit where credit is due. Cassie, girl, girl, she she sparked a movement. And now I can't even stop with this, these coin card holders. She is the first person who I ever saw unbox it. And then I was just hooked once I actually found it. There's a whole story that I tell in the video when I unbox this, but this was such the surprise and relief and shock to add to my collection. And this one is the oldest out of all of the ones that I have collected over the years. And she still looks fantastic with the exception of 
this one piece that I'm just like truly heartbroken over. I don't know what these little black dots are. I want to say it's like transfer from a bag. My heart, my heart hurt uh, when I saw those uh, little black dots, but it's, it's mine. She's not going anywhere. Glazing still looks A1. One of the better pieces from Louis Vuitton, like there's only one card holder that I have an issue with, and that is the monogram. The leather actually split. This is the only issue with all of them. So I don't think it's that bad, but this is the one, this is the one that started it and I will forever have it and I love it. Jean was shortly followed by Blue Lagoon. This one, it's my favorite color, blue. So it's not like the blue that I absolutely love, but it's one of those pretty like sky blues. The only thing I wish they did differently with this is that the blue that they use for the LVs were a little bit darker. So you see how you can see it a little bit more with the yellow. I wish you could see the LVs just a little bit more with the blue, but nonetheless, I love this one. This one I, I stayed in for quite some time and it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. It's Blue Lagoon and I know they've had different variations of blue. I think they currently have a cobalt and they have one that was a little bit paler. It wasn't hitting as hard, but this, this one I was just like, yes, 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 yes soon as I saw it. So I really, really love this color. That's why I highly suggest when you have uh, wallets and SLGs, get bright colors. Cause girl, it's so much easier to find these in your bag than a regular like black wallet. So try to get the bright stuff. Let's go with you bright girl. Here we have orange. I know my girl uh, Lisa loves bags. Hey boo. She absolutely fell in love with this one. I kind of convinced her to get this one. But the orange is so just bright and vivid. Now, I still feel the same way with the blue. Look at that. Look, just look at that. So fun. Um, I believe this, this was from the same collection, if I'm not mistaken. I just couldn't choose. I couldn't choose between the two. But um, yeah, I'm always going go for the blue one. See how that LV doesn't really pop out at you? It's okay, but I, I really, really love this orange. It's really just fun. You can see it. <laughs> and it's, ah, uh, this is a stunning, stunning, stunning piece to have. Now, in contrast to this orange, there was also this one. Now this is red, but it's more of an orange base red. So I wasn't sure how I would feel about this. This one isn't my wallet, but in comparison to the orange, you can kind of see like it, it's a big difference, but it definitely has that orangey undertone with the red one. But nonetheless, it's a fantastic piece. I wish they did have like a true red because I think that's the one I would get. Possibly even the color that the LVs are in. Like just a little deeper. I would I would really enjoy that. But another hitter <laughs> with this one. In that same collection came this. This metallic gunmetal gray. They really need to expand on because honey, not a lot of people talk about this one and it is fantastic. I think the hype was around the orangey red, but this metallic, could you imagine a teal or a, um, a purple, just oh, majestic. I really, really hope this circles the block in various colors because the metallic on this is so, so good. I wanna say this is still available on the website as I'm recording, but I love this one. This was a gift that I gave and I might have to um, buy this one myself because I, I, this is so fun. 
fire. This is so fire. And this feels really nice in the hands. It's nice and slick and I haven't seen any chipping on here. So this one, if you can buy it, definitely give it a look because the pictures do no justice to this actual piece. It's phenomenal. Like, wow. Just one of, one of my favorites. And finally, my current obsession, this green and monogram one. <sighs> this was a ode to Virgil, God rest his soul. If Virgil were alive, I think this would have been his design, to be honest with you, because Virgil, as we all know, is known for using those primary colors. So we have that green in contrast with the monogram, and then this matte black hardware is what sold me on this piece. And I was just like, <gasps> Oh my gosh. And then of course, the zipper pull itself is completely different. I love the pulls on the black one versus the uh, regular ones because it's just so different and it's, you know, it's big and substantial, but still thin. It's a small detail, but I freaking love it. I wish all the zipper pulls were like this. Don't get me wrong, like I do like this one. It feels like a pearl ink earring, you know? Now my concern with this particular piece is that they use smooth leather instead of the regular, you know, Tigerama leather. And I have to report, I am perfectly okay with this. I've used this for months. And the only wear I see is a very tiny, tiny bit of wrinkling. And you gotta get up close and, you know, shine it to the light in order to see it. But other than that, no scratches, no nothing. So I was very happy that um, this actually worked out, but oh my gosh, just phenomenal piece. Could you imagine like from his first collection when he used that really bright like orange like this, could you imagine doing the orange with the black pop or the purple with the black. Stop it, just freaking stop. So I hope they do add those colors to this particular collection, but this one is quickly, quickly getting up there as one of my favorites. So here's the most difficult part of uh, the video. What's the top three? Mm, no, I think it's easy. These three are my absolute favorites out of this entire line. Obviously you can see they're like all different and that's what I love about it. Absolutely love about it. But out of the ones that I've shown, what would be your top three picks? Check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.